don't know if you can see that well, but the desert be wild. And I'm gonna go camping it tonight. Not that area specifically, but another area. Well, uh, I think this is gonna turn out to be a real creepy night. Headed to a very rural, very remote Nevada ghost town. And just the road out there is kind of dreary. Uh, 15 miles of this dirt road and things are looking still like deep Nevada. Luce, what do you think about this? You ready to go? You ready to be in the desert? You're pretty. Look how pretty you are. You ever see uh, hills have eyes? Yeah, <laughs> me neither. Oh boy, good thing. This looks significantly more modern than I was imagining when I read the reviews. Maybe not, we'll see. I'm gonna do a little exploring here. We did it. We're in thriving metropolis. It is windy and there's broken glass literally everywhere. And it's the least scary ghost town I've ever visited. Just Garbage everywhere. Garbage and glass. The least clean and the least impressive ghost town. I guess that is what it is. Established in the early 1900s, Metropolis faced its fair share of strifes, including plague. Uh, infestations of Mormon crickets, drought, and fire, eventually leading to everyone but a few scattered ranchers to abandon the town by the early 1940s. It's 42 degrees, and it's 5 o'clock, which means tonight it's probably going to be 22 degrees, which is what the weather app said, but at 22 degrees, my shower will freeze. In Bonneville, it's supposed to be a low of 38 tonight. Bonneville is only a couple hours away. I think I'm going to try to hustle my ass to Bonneville. I know it's a disappointing short trip to a ghost town, but it's also brutally cold despite how nice it looks outside the windows. Going to Bonneville.